everybody. Step from the apple tree. Sorry I'm kind of late today. I got really, really busy and time just flew by. And by the time I got done making dinner and doing the dishes and that, uh, well, before you know it, it's 10, 1030. <laughs> so um, we'll work on a quick project and then I'm going to head off to bed because I'm tired. I've had a full day. All right, so I'm going to work on the Christmas tree cutouts. Aren't these cute? They come in a pack of three. So it's these three shapes. A large one, small one, and then um, a middle-sized one. All right. Uh, if you see any, you know, if any of these projects that I'm working on, that you would like to perhaps um, purchase like a set to make, to recreate what I've done, just give me a holler, make a um, comment, and I will help you out, help you pick out the products that you might need, and we can create um, kind of a bundle kit so that you have everything you need to, to make exactly what you want. All right, I'm always willing to help in any kind of way, so don't be shy. Let me know, and I will help you. Okay, so this is called the Christmas Tree Patterns Transfer. And you notice that they're the exact same shapes as the cutouts, like this one here going to fit that and then like these I can kind of choose between these patterns here and the large one these two patterns here so you kind of have some options you can also chalk on both sides so that's a, a plus so you can kind of um, make it look where whatever angle you look at it you can see the pattern okay I'm going to first cut out the patterns here. And there are cut lines on each transfer so you know exactly where to cut. Doesn't have to be exact, but you know, you, you have the general idea of which ones to cut out. These are going to be super easy to create, pretty quick, and they're going to look so professional and awesome. And I've picked out some colors here. I am using my Shimmer Silver, my Shimmer Red, and my Eucalyptus. I think those three colors will look nice together. Let's see. What if we start with this guy here? Move these over a little bit. And I'm just going to quick bring myself up here on my laptop so I can see how I'm doing here. All right, here we go. All right, awesome. Only thing is, is I've got my cord hanging in your way here. There we go. So, first thing we want to do, since these are wood and they're painted, we we'll want to wax them a little bit. And I will find my wax here. This is my wax that I use. Chocotour also sells little tubes of wax because you really don't need much. 
but um, I just ran to the store and picked this up. But it's the same thing. In fact, um, I think ours are a little bit cheaper. They're like a dollar. I don't think they're even two dollars for the little tube of the wax. So I just have a, um, whoopsie, kind of like a auto or vehicle cleaning cloth, you know, when you want to shine it up. Um, so this is lint free. So that's what I use. I bought these at the Dollar Tree. Because Chop Couture doesn't have this kind of thing. Probably will in the future, but we don't offer them right now. So you just rub a little bit on your cloth. You don't need much. You just rub it on your surface here. And then you wipe it back off. Now I'll do the other side. Today I went to the grocery store and did a little grocery shopping and my lower back was hurting so bad. I have um, spondylolisthesis. It's kind of a great big medical term, <laughs> which is basically the vertebrae. When I bend, um, my vertebrae slip. Instead of all the vertebrae you know, going together in one direction. I have a spot where the two vertebrae slip into opposite directions and it really hurts. So anyway, I was shopping and my back was killing me. I could hardly stand anymore. I got home and it dawned on me, I forgot to put my orthotics in my shoes. <laughs> I'm like, oh man, no wonder why my back was killing me. So, uh, I've learned my lesson there. I don't think I'll forget to do that again. I left them at home in my slippers. <laughs> all right, let's get them all waxed right away. Where did that little spot go? Here we go. So a little bit of late night crafting with the apple tree. What do you think, huh? <laughs> This one's kind of rough. It's a good thing we're putting the wax on. Get rid of that roughness so my transfer doesn't stick and pull that up. And we'll wipe it back off a little. So you don't want too much wax on because then your transfer won't stick at all. And you don't want that either. Oops. to go. Get the big guy done here. This is the boring part, <laughs> the waxing. Doing the transfer part is so much more exciting. And we're all 
almost there. I'm going to fuzz this up. That means, to fuzz up means to put a little bit of lint on the tacky side of your transfer. Just do it a little bit. Because I did wax this, we don't want too much lint on there. I just line this up over the wood. Ooh, there's a lot of silk screen on this. So Wow, I get this to stick a little bit for me. So we can fold it over a little so it doesn't shift. Let's see here. No, nope, I don't think that's gonna work. I'm going to turn it around because this top side isn't sticking down very well. So I have this stuck to the little trunk of the tree here. And I'm going to pull my paste down from that side, I think, real gently. this guy in silver. I absolutely love these shimmer pastes. They just are, they glide on so nice and they look cool. I love the shimmer. Back um, when I first started with Chocotour, we didn't have shimmer paste. So what I would do is paste it with the regular paste. And while it was wet, I would throw some glitter on there. In fact, let's see. No, I don't have one here. But it look, would look really neat. Oh, wait, I do. This one here, I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, that's glittery. Once, while the paste was wet, I threw some glitter in there. Isn't that neat? So I really like that. That's from last year. All right. You could probably still do that with these here to make it even more shimmery. Pull this gently down.
So you notice I'm going kind of down the middle and then out towards the side. And that keeps the transfer from kind of slipping around. All right, let's pull off the excess here. Put that back in our jar because that will last much longer if we do that instead of wasting it all. Oh my gosh, isn't that beautiful? Wow, I love it. Wow, that is so cool. Absolutely love that. Got a little bit of paste on my thumb here. Oh my gosh, I really like that a lot. Wow. Woo. Okay. Cover up my paste so it doesn't dry out. You don't want to leave these open for too long because they can dry out a little, but all you have to do is um, spritz a little bit of water in there and that'll liven it back up again. I'm gonna quick dry this because there's a lot of paste on there. gosh that is just beautiful can you see the shimmery or the shimmer in the paste hopefully you can it's really pretty in person wow yeah I think sometimes the camera just doesn't do this stuff justice all right and you know these because they are so um, quick to make you could uh, make a bunch of these as Christmas presents and you wouldn't have to spend a ton of time but it is you know homemade which is awesome uh, I think I will do this one here next on the little tree and I'm not gonna fuzz this one up this time so it'll stick a little better You don't have to fuzz them every time you use them. Depends on the surface that you're working with. sure we rub it down nice so that we get out the air bubbles and that it's stuck down or adhering nicely so all this green here that's where it's tacky and it's sticking to my surface and I'm going to do this little guy in I think I'll do the shimmer red you know what I should do hmm, I could do the big one in gold that would look pretty. I got shimmer gold too. <coughs> Stir 
this up a little bit. This shimmer red one is new this year. They brought it out, <clears throat> excuse me, they brought it out during the summer. Anticipating Christmas coming, of course. And it's really pretty. So again, I'm going to kind of pull it down carefully from this side because I can hold it here and then kind of pull it from the center out. These, these chalk pastes are actually made out of chalk um, and natural pigments. So they are um, non-toxic. Of course, you don't want to be eating them, but <laughs> they're non-toxic. So they are safe for kids to use. Kids absolutely love using these products. Because my gosh, you know, when you were a kid, wouldn't you have loved to do something like this and it would turn out so awesome? Like, wow, I made that. Okay, pulling out the excess here. And that back in my jar. All right, pull that one off. Wow, that's beautiful. Look at that, you guys. <gasps> that is just beautiful. Wow. And like I said, you can do this on both sides. I'm not going to tonight because you're seeing one side how it looks. But um, yeah, these, these are awesome. Wow, that's really pretty. Quick dry this one too. That is just beautiful. Wow. Oh, those are so cute. All right. And then on this one, I am going to use my gold instead of the green. This is the gold shimmer or shimmer gold. <laughs> this one. I like that one. I like them both, but I have to choose one. <laughs> and I will fuzz this. No, you know what? I'm not going to fuzz it up again because I waxed the boards, so we don't need to have lint on there. way 
off on this one. <laughs> This pattern is going to look awesome in the gold. Can't wait to see this one. If you guys are making comments, I'm not seeing any come through, but when I'm done with the live, I will make sure that I comment back. For some reason, Facebook has been doing that to everybody lately with the live videos. The comments don't come through. All right, and I'm going to turn this guy around. load up my squeegee here. I want to get a good good amount on there so it's easier. It slides much easier when you have more paste on your squeegee. Sorry, I'm so quiet. <laughs> when I'm concentrating, I can't talk. Texas. That back in the jar because we don't want to be wasteful. All right, there we go. Oh my God. Gosh, that's beautiful. Whoa. Oh my gosh, I so love that one. I gotta wipe the paste off my fingers so I don't smear it everywhere. <laughs> Turn that around. Oh my gosh, isn't that awesome? Now you saw how easy that was and it looks so professional. It really, these are such nice, easy crafting projects or products to use because anybody can do these, even little kids. Obviously they couldn't do something this large, but we do have smaller things that they could work on and they love it. Absolutely love it. Um, I have a friend that actually even takes projects like this on a small scale to a nursing home um, where the people there get to play with the products and they're so proud of the things that they make. It just makes their day. And that's, that's awesome. I really like that she does that.
cute. It's just adorable. Here, I'll show you all three together. Aren't those pretty? Oh my gosh. And you could put those on a shelf or on top of a cabinet or in a bookcase or something for Christmas. Oh, they're just beautiful. They really need to come out with a green shimmer. <laughs> that would be awesome. Who knows? I can put in a request and see what happens. They're always open to requests, so. Oh, I just absolutely love this, you guys. No kidding. I am not kidding. <laughs> For real. And I would appreciate this because we want to sprinkle the love. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys tuning in to watch me so late at night. I really didn't think anybody was going to be up this late. <laughs> so, um, again, thank you for joining me today. And um, hopefully I find my book that I bought to create my Halloween project. Um, it's getting so close to Halloween, and I really want to get it done before then. So um, I'll be searching for that tomorrow. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much again. And um, we will see you tomorrow. Goodbye now.